early on, we know there were people who lost their smell and taste from COVID, but now we're seeing its effects on the eyes and hearing about its effects on the ears. What we're learning is that uh, like all other organ systems, COVID can affect the inner ear. And we're actually seeing little tiny bits of viruses in people who have had COVID. LSU Health's Dr. Moises Ariaga cares for patients with hearing and balance disorders, and he says symptoms of COVID ear vary. We're seeing people who have had hearing loss related to COVID. We're seeing people who have ringing in the ears after they've had COVID, and we're seeing people who have ongoing dizzy problems. Eye problems are usually the first sign you've been infected. 11% of people with COVID get either dry eyes, redness, itching, blurry vision, sensitivity to light, and the feeling like there's a foreign particle in the eye. Patients can present with red eyes, so conjunctivitis or pink eye, as people will call it, and that will be the presenting sign. So people will brush it off because, you know, pink eye happens, and they'll just think it's allergy, something's irritating their eye. And now we're learning the virus can be in tears. After you test negative with a nasal swab, Many days or even weeks afterwards, the virus can still be coming out in your tears. So you're shedding virus in your tears. They're not sure how, like, if it's transmitting to people. They know when you're very active, like in the beginning of your infection, you could be uh, spreading it, but they don't think, they're not sure if later on if you are. So how long will your eye and ear problems last? For most people, the good news is it's not permanent. For most people, we're seeing improvement. But some of these conditions, when they're combined to other things that COVID has caused, are longer lasting. And while he says there are treatments for all those symptoms, it's best never to get COVID. The vaccine is proven to lower your risk. And while research continues to find new COVID symptoms, it's also finding better treatments. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. And the doctor says that the symptoms of hearing loss, ringing in the ears and balance problems can all be treated. If you have the ringing in the ears, make sure that you keep some background sound on. Apparently, complete silence makes it worse.